Hello everybody, it's Junior Computer Scientist here, and today I'm graduating. I'm about to go get my associate's degree in computer science, like right now. Um, my hair was supposed to be done, but that never happened for some reason. I tried my best. I'm going to be back after the ceremony to give my thoughts on the ceremony. Hello everybody, I'm back. Um, I graduated yesterday. Today is a new day and it's a weird feeling, you know? I don't know. Uh, I'm no longer in community college, like officially, and I have an associate's degree in computer science now. That should come in a couple of days. Um, it's a good feeling. I felt like I was stuck in that community college, to be honest with you. Um, failed math a lot of times while I was in there, stuck through it, and ended up graduating finally so that was that's that's good but i don't know it, it doesn't really feel like i really completed anything because i'm still in college and i know a lot of people are telling me you know enjoy the moment yeah uh celebrate that you graduated because this is a big accomplishment a lot of people haven't even gotten their associate's degrees yet which i get because i was one of those people that was uh, like that <laughs> and uh i don't know but uh, I'm just going to talk to you guys really about my plans moving forward after getting this associate's degree. So, um, as you guys know, if you are subscribed, please subscribe because um, this is a journey. This isn't just one video. This is kind of like a series, you know. In my last video, uh, I talked about how I got an internship. Well, not how I got an internship. I just kind of told you guys that I have an internship. But I should be going over how in some other video. But... Um, yeah, I have an internship now and I'm going to be an intern, a technology intern on the quality engineering team of my company, which is cool. Uh, I'm going to be using Python in there and that's good. I'm going to continue to learn JavaScript. I'm going to learn Linux. I'm going to keep using GitHub and fixing it. And I'm going to start leak coding after the summer. Now, the reason I'm choosing after the summer is because I'm taking data structures and algorithms and discrete structures over the summer. So after the summer, I'm going to start doing leak code with the knowledge that I gain from data structures and algorithms and just probably going to do like one or two problems a day. I'm not going to like go really heavy on it just because, you know, I have classes and stuff to have to do and I'm also going to be working but I feel like one or two problems a day over a long period of time is going to help me a lot especially if I'm not going to be looking for anything new until you know graduation which is in like two years or a year and a half something like that um there's a possibility I'm taking five classes a semester after that um in terms of github I'm just going to keep using that and keep building projects and putting those projects on there uh at first, I had all of my code in a readme, which you don't do, and I didn't know how to use GitHub, and I actually put that on my resume and got the internship somehow. So, <laughs> hey, man, you know, put your, put, put your, GitHub on, your GitHub on there. I can't believe I said GitHub. Put your GitHub on there and, you know, try and believe in what you do because that's exactly what I did. I believe in what I did. The reason I'm going to continue to learn JavaScript is because, uh, well, not only because I already started, but... Um, there's a possibility that I could start freelancing with web development. Why not? You know, I'm already kind of in too deep into web development. Um, I'm going to have that as a skill under my belt. I could put that on my resume if I end up freelancing, which I don't plan on actually starting soon. I, I'm really taking my time. You know, it's, it's not like I'm really strapped for cash and I, I need to start as soon as possible. I'm just kind of going to be learning JavaScript and then I'm going to go uh, learn a little bit more about CSS, um, maybe a little bit more about HTML if there's anything more I need to learn. Um, there probably is. There's always stuff to learn. And I'm going to get better with data structures and algorithms so I can have all my code running efficiently. I'm going to get good with Linux so I can pass this class that I have that's going to be 
based on Linux <laughs> uh, next semester. I should be in good shape by the time I graduate. Like good shape in terms of projects that I have, languages I know, and I, I guess skills would kind of be under the same category as knowledge that I would have. But um, with all that, uh, yeah, I think I should be pretty, pretty good to either get, get the salary that I'm expecting after graduation or more, to be honest with you. Um, I'm still practicing my study habits. Uh, I got an A in computer science too, and I got a B in linear algebra this time because I got a C at my community college and it didn't fully transfer over. But whatever, I got a higher grade now and my GPA went from a 2.667 to a 3.0, which is a big accomplishment for me because that was actually on my New Year's resolution, I think, was to raise my GPA. I think I had a lot of things on there, but that was, I did it in one semester, which is great. And I'm going to try to keep raising it. We just hit one little milestone. We're going to keep on going. Uh, thank you to everyone that said congratulations to me on my Instagram. Thank you to everyone that's probably going to say congratulations on this video. The journey is still going. We are still going to be coding. We're still going to be learning more and more and more. And we're going to get a full-time offer either, either from my current company, because that is not promised, or somewhere else. Okay. That's, that's the reason we're still going and we're still going hard too. Okay. We're not, we're not slowing down, but thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is going to be Jordan, the CS on both of those. Join my discord. The link is in the description. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe just to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And I'm going to see everyone in my next video. So thank you for watching. I'm insecure still. Because it's full